Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look outside of Team of the Season for a second and talk about the Euros because they are coming very soon and I want to talk about how that competition and Copa America, the competition starting in the next couple of weeks, could impact the content on FIFA. And I know a lot of us are really hoping for a big summer on FIFA with the Euros because when there's a big football competition going on, we want to see some of that relayed into FIFA because it makes that connection so much better and so much fun. And of course, the way that Team of the Season has gone with the cards not being as upgraded as last year in FIFA 20, people are just left wanting more in terms of high rated cards on this game and higher rated stats. So whether that be through Summer Heat with the Euros combined in it, maybe the Footies promo or maybe a huge Euros promo altogether, I want to talk about the content that we could be seeing in the next couple of weeks, because right now I'm recording this, it's the, almost the end of May. June 11th is the first game of the Euros on that date. On that Friday, June 11th, which is basically the end date for Ultimate Team in the season, it's all going to kind of flow together. So I'm very, I'm very curious to see what EA does, and I want to take us through some of the ways I think they might release content into this game. Now, the first thing we have to take note of is that EA Sports FIFA does not own the standalone licenses for the Euro 2020. So we won't see the Euro branding like we see with the Champions League, with Road to the Final stuff, um, with UEFA. We don't see that specific branding. We do see that specific branding in FIFA. We will not see it with the Euros because, again, Pez does have that license. They have all the licenses for the kits, the crest, the players, uh, and, of course, the UEFA logo and trademark stuff itself. And, of course, Pez is now updating their game because of that. So that's one issue. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what EA does with this because they don't have the exact rights and licenses for it. And that might kind of change the content that we do see this summer. But I want to take a look at back at FIFA 16, one of the last times that we had Euro content. Yes, it was a while ago. But this is the content that we had back in FIFA 16 related to players coming out during the Euros. These were called international uh, heroes, I believe. They were called international heroes. And of course, it was as the games continued to go on in the Euros competition, they would put out these special cards in packs for a few days. Uh, and they, you know, the way EA does things now, probably put them out on like Fridays, run some lightning rounds, you know, still collect the bag a little bit. EA Sports might be thinking that way, but also put on some cool cards from the Euros content. So basically these were just man of the match cards from the Euro games. And that's cool though, right? Because it creates a nice connection between the actual game and the competition that's being played. And, th and then inside of FIFA, having a card that, you know, reminds you of that moment where that player scored a goal to win the game or something like that. So I hope they do some sort. And this is what I think is the most um, likely thing to happen inside of the Euros. I don't know if they're going to make it a legit Euros promo. I really don't know if they are. I think they might just roll Summer Heat out as a promo and then put uh, like Euros Man of the Matches and other Euros content inside of it. And I'll talk about that. But again, these Man of the Match cards would probably not skip above Team of the Season and Team of the Year ratings. They would go up from the next highest performance-based um, special cards that that person has had. A good example from FIFA 16 is Paul Pugba, if I can find his card. He had a 90 rated um, man of the match card, but he had a 92 team of the season and a 93 team of the year. So again, you can see that 90 international heroes man of the match was just a step above the 89 inform that was his highest uh, performance-based card. So hopefully EA re releases a new design, a new car design, even if it's not the specific Euros colors or the license for that card. I really hope they don't just give us the normal orange man of the matches uh, or anything like that. I hope they give us, you know, some sort of cool design for the Euros cards if they are going to go this route. And again, I think this is the way that they're going to be going uh, because, again, they could run the Summer Heat promo with all the SPC content. And then, you know, they could put special cards into packs like they did last year, re-release those cards like older promo teams, but also be releasing these cards at the same time to have some Euros content being out. Now, one mention I do want to make here is that you have cards getting multiple versions, right? Griezmann has multiple of these. He has a 90 and a 91 and a 92. So Griezmann had three from the Euros in, in FIFA 16. Um, and then also you took you take a look at a guy like Gareth Bale, right? Look at the huge rating boost on this Gareth Bale card back in uh, FIFA 16. A 93 and a 94 card insane stats if you look at this card right here. So hopefully we see the insane stats like a card like this 
later on this summer with the Euros content. I think this is the number one most likely way that EA will incorporate Euros content into FIFA is through these man of the matches. Now, there's many other things they could do. Even if they weren't going to make a specific promo about it, it's probably not going to be like the World Cup where we have a specific game mode for it. And I'll talk about that potential in a bit. But one thing I hope they do a lot of during the Euros, and one thing that'd be very cool, is if they interacted with the showdown SBCs that we have been seeing throughout the past year. I think the first showdown SBC happened last year in FIFA 20 during Summer Heat, and it's continued this year. And these have been very fun for the most part. Good cards, the upgrades have been solid, and I think this would be a concept that would be great during the Euros if we had some key matchups, whether it's in the group stage or whether we move on through the tournament. Getting some of these cards for showdown SBCs, releasing them a couple days before. Like right now, we have the Fred and the Paco Alcacer for the Europa League final that is coming out in the next couple of days when I'm recording this a bit early. Um, you know, we've got these SBCs ahead of that big time matchup. So this would be really, really cool to see these spread out across, you know, maybe like one per week during uh, the Euros promo as well, because it's going to be national teams put together and not just all of these players inside their club team. So it's going to be different players getting cards that maybe didn't get cards before. Uh, like, you know, you have the Olivier Giroud who had an insane Euros campaign or sorry, not Euros, the World Cup in uh, for FIFA 18, right? His Path to Glory car was insane. We're going to talk about Path to Glory in, in a bit. But um, I think that would be a really, it'd be new cards they could put on the game, fresh faces and stuff that maybe didn't have a ton of special cards throughout the year. I think of like the French team and you think of Pavard, right? Somebody who has maybe one in form, but not a lot of special cards. It's probably going to see a decent amount of time for that team in the Euros, something like that, you know? So that's kind of one thing that I'm thinking about, and hopefully that does come out. Now, another thing that I think they should do, and they might have to do, since a lot of the other football games across the world are going to be over, I think that they should continue marquee matchups and only do it with games from the Copa America and from the Euros. Now you could take this to a whole different level if you wanted to, having marquee matchups uh, released weekly, of course, for the big matchups heading that week. But even if they wanted to do it a lot differently and release a lot of SBCs, I mean, take a look at all these games we're going to be having. You could combine some of these groups, right? You could have a group A and group a group A slash B SBC. And you it, inside of that, you could have all the teams that are in group A or in group B put some of their matchups together for the first week or so, and then make SBCs out of that. And you could have a daily SBC even. You could have a, a matchup day, matchup of the day, the SBC, right? So Friday, June 11th, it'd be Turkey versus Italy. But then Saturday, June 12th, maybe they pick Denmark and Finland. For the 13th, England and Croatia. For the 14th, Poland and Slovakia. No, you know, that could be something like a matchup of the day idea would be so cool. Even if it's just for pack content, if they did, you know how they have the tiered objectives, right? We have had the tiered objectives um, inside of the, like with future stars. They had like the path, I forget what it's called even now, but we had like the Odegaard future stars in FIFA 20. Earlier this year, we had the Renier from Dortmund uh, car that you could build up and do objectives to get the higher version. They could do that with SBCs, right? Complete a certain number of um, match of the day SBCs to attain this card or to attain this pack. So, you know, opportunities like that are endless inside of the Euros content. So I think, you know, those marquee matchups and the man of the match cards are the number one things for me that I think we will see. Now, I'm going to get into some other things really fast that I think we could be a step above and beyond, and I don't know if E is going to do them. I think it might come down to the rights, and since we haven't seen anything about the Euros already, that's kind of making me, I don't know, maybe be a little bit less optimistic, because in FIFA 18, we had this insane, insane promo and this idea called Path to Glory. They released two squads, a fall, or maybe they called it winter, and a spring. So there were two different promo squads that went out, and these cards were basically like ones to watch, but they kept upgrading into the summer with man of the match items that they released called Festival of Football cards in the summer of, uh, of FIFA 18. Like this Festival of Football Varan. A lot of you guys remember FIFA 18 summer, and it was insane. And I really hope that EA, if they're going to go all out with the Euros content, even though they don't technically have um, like the rights to it, they could still make a card design like this with similar colors, right? And still make live upgradable cards, basically a like ones to watch or live cards 
for the Euros, if you will. That would be so cool if they did that, releasing a squad of you know 15 players and then make them live cards, like ones to watch or path to glory, and then putting out insane cards. Like look at this Isco from FIFA 18, right? So Isco had a path to glory that was you know 90 something rated. I think it was like 80 something rated when it was first released. I don't know if it shows uh, on the website here in this team, but this Isco path to glory, it was 87 rated. 87 rated for this Isco when he first started out. And look where this Isco goes, right? This 97 Isco goes all the way up, plus 10 ratings. And look what this does to his price, bro. This guy is kind of like a dead card all year between 150K. Down at the end of the team of the season, he's 30,000 coins, right? And then you have these man of the match cards coming out because he starts performing during the World Cup with Spain, gets a couple man of the match cards, festival football, boom. He goes to 180K from down at 70,000 coins, boom goes up 100K and then boom, he goes all the way up to almost 400,000 coins and above that before the end of the competition in the World Cup. I think that this would be an idea that would make people go crazy during the summer in FIFA because live items, people love them. And the live items, just like the showdown cards from this year, just the interaction with the card on FIFA and the connection between the real life football and the FIFA game is incredible. So I really, really hope that they would release something along the lines of Path to Glory. And again, these cards were basically once to watches, but they upgraded um, over the course of the uh, the summer as well with their select national team performances, right? So if their team kept winning, they get upgraded during those as well. So I think that would be an insane idea if EA did that this year. I really don't think it's going to happen uh, because that would you know require a new card type. That would require probably some of the branding. If they had the Euro licenses, then maybe something like this could happen. But I also feel like this would take some preparation ahead of time. And since if we look at the calendar, Team of the Season Ultimate Tots is literally going to end on the date of the first day of the Euros. Now, last year, if you take a look back at the calendar, um, team of the season ended and summer heat was literally the next week. So it was literally boom, boom, just like this. So hopefully this year with that end of team of the season, I hope that Euros content and summer heat content comes very, very fast because I think that'd be something that'd be very, very awesome. And just keeping the game's longevity going forward. Now, again, a lot of people, as I've been talking and, and you know, interacting with people in the community, they have really, 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 really high hopes for Euros content this year. And again, I just want to say that since EA doesn't have the licenses, I want it to be hype, but I also have some worries, right? Because we haven't seen anything. We haven't heard anything. Like what, what's there to say that we would get content uh, like these Man of the Matches right here with Royce, Schmeichel, and Kulusevsky? What if they couldn't do dynamic images because they don't have the rights? That would take a lot of hype away. Now, it would still be cool to have those man of the match cards, but you think about all the cards on this game that are special promo cards. I mean, if you search all the team of the season, they all have dynamics, right? Um, man of the match cards are some of the only ones in this game that don't have dynamic images. So um, that's kind of one thing that I feel like uh, might be a bit of a buzzkill, if you will, is the lack of dynamic images on some of these cards. Although the stats would be insane. Um, I don't know if they will have dynamic images or not. I don't know the rights and stuff. That's, you know, that's EA's thing. So we'll kind of have to wait and see what happens with that. But I feel like that might be a little bit of a letdown if we don't have any of those. And also, if they don't do anything for the Euros and they just keep it all within summer heat and maybe they release Man of the Matches but don't do anything else, that's kind of dead too. So hopefully... I hope that they, you know, take advantage of this opportunity and realize that, hey, not just people that play FIFA right now are going to want to have some sort of interaction with the Euros, but people that watching the Euros that maybe don't even play FIFA that much. I mean, there's a huge audience out there of people that are going to be watching the Euros and are going to want to, you know, have some sort of outlet to go use those cards that they learn about FIFA, they learn about this stuff, and they see all of the cool content that's in the game. Like, Based on the the content, if like if you look back at FIFA 16, what I was just showing you with all the cards that we have there versus the cards that we have now, it's incredible. It is incredible the number of improvements with the card designs, with the dynamic images, with just the aesthetics of this game uh, that is way more appealing than it used to be. So if EA is trying to get more people onto FIFA, you know, that's something that they would, I think, would help them out too. So that's just my thoughts. But again, I think the most likely thing for Euros content this year is going to be those Man of the Matches. And hopefully they do either the uh, hero card design uh, or they they put something new in the code. So we'll be watching the code, of course, as we get near the Euros. Um, I don't know which you know card that they would use. Maybe this hero. But this hero card design doesn't even look that sick, right? It's just purple. 
Uh, so hopefully they do something that's like an international hero card design, kind of like they did in FIFA 16. And EA likes to repeat themselves. So I think that is something that, that's why I feel the most strongly about having Man of the Matches with the Euro you know, involved. Uh, and that's where EA going with this route because that's what they've done in the past. And that is probably right now they're focused a lot on FIFA 22. So this Euro content stuff has been playing for a while. So um, we'll see what happens again. But those are some of my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I mean, there's tons of great content ideas that we think of all the time. And hopefully uh, EA is going to put some of those that we thought of into practice and into the game in the next coming weeks inside of FIFA as we head towards the Euro. So again, let me know down in the comments what you're expecting, how much hype you're expecting, and uh, what team you're rooting for to win as well. But again, like this video if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.